livestock. Uh, I've been involved with it for 50 years, um, working with dogs, working with sheep, and just got a love, natural love for it. Been running with Merino sheep um, on a self-replacing flock here, and just want to be um, working with dogs and animals, and here we are now with Atlex Stockyards. Well, probably, I really wanted to put something back into livestock. And at the end of the day, I thought that I've been involved with it, passionate about it, and I thought there's an opportunity that I could um, work doing something that I love, improve livestock to other people. Uh, a lot of people out there um, have infrastructure that needs improving. Um, and if I can make their livestock easier to work, then I'm putting something back into it. And, that's where I've really enjoyed the designing of the yards and taking it from start to finish. Like I come in on a job, talk to the client and, and I can see what he wants. We work together and then we come up with the best plan at the end of the day. Um, and he can choose whether he wants all of it, wants to do part of it. But I understand where, where, the, where the sheep are going and how they need to escape and, and work with them. Using the yards every day at home. So I work my dogs, I understand the, um, the flight zone of animals, pressure points. Um, listen, I've got 20 dogs out there and, and my kids sometimes just say to me, do we have to actually work, use the dogs? Um, and the yards are really one man, one dog and that's what, that's what I'm trying to create. Uh, days gone by where you might have needed four dogs to shift a mob of sheep through the draft. Um, I think contributing to the livestock, whether it's sheep, cattle, uh, just the ability to make livestock more enjoyable, more attractive to the young generation. Uh, things were tough in the 90s, 2000, there wasn't a lot of money in it um, and there's a lot of a drive or push towards cropping um, because there was, there was a dollar in it so we're all business driven at the end of the day um, and we've got to make a dollar to survive but now we're in a very buoyant um, position with livestock being really good, it's attractive, um, there's a lot of precision and innovative work happening with um, livestock sheep, weighing, monitoring, um, breeding values, everything. So for young people to get into it now is just a real excitement and the sky's the limit.